Hello, have you read the 10 can't miss read alouds in the early years on our Sunlight blog? It's an article. And Dina has identified 10 books that she suggests that every Sunlight family reads. Do you agree? Let's take a look at the books. The first book Dina identifies is The Hunter Dresses. This book is about a group of girls who makes fun of another little girl. Therefore, it provokes some great conversations for your family, as well as it gives you a view into both the protagonist and the antagonist point of view. The second book is George Mueller. It can be found in History, Bible, Literature, B. And this is a very excellent book on how George became the guardian of the Bristol orphans, knowing that he had to help all these kids who didn't have families. He put his faith in God to help guide his way. Also in History Bible Literature B, the year of Miss Agnes. Miss Agnes was a rural, a rural community teacher and she made an epic impact on her students in multiple ways. And the last one from History Bible Literature B, Detectives and Togas. Who doesn't love a good mystery? And this one's set in ancient Rome. Your family will love to figure out what's gonna happen next. Part of History Bible Literature C, Gladys Allward. Gladys makes an impact on China during the war and for years to come. She adopts children, takes care of children, and not only is this a great biography, it's an awesome adventure to read. HBLC has corn stalks too. Dina does admit that this could be a controversial pick, but also super fun and thought provoking conversations that your family will partake in after reading these tiny little glimpses into ordinary life. HBLC, The 21 Balloons. This book is an awesome, epic adventure that can have your children's imaginations just going wild. What will happen next on this adventure? The Sign of the Beaver, part of History Bible Literature D. This is an epic tale of a little boy lost in the woods who finds solace, friendship, and learns survival skills from the Native Americans around him. This book, along with most of these other books, will provoke great conversations with your children, not only about preconceived notions, but also about perseverance and hardships. Another History Bible Literature D book, Walk the World's Rim, Talk about thought-provoking conversations with your children. This is about an adventure through the Southwest, tackling hunger and honor and even slavery. And rounding out the top 10 reads for the early years, Goonie Bird Green. Goonie Bird is also part of History Bible Literature D and it follows an adorable little girl as she works her way through the second grade and tries to stand out as much as possible. So there you have it, the top 10 must reads for sunlight in the early years. Do you agree? Is there anything you would add? Let us know.